All right, I'm uh, actually going to start a series on this. That's what I'm thinking right now, maybe. But I'm also dealing with ESA email security appliance, Cisco, and other stuff as well, Linux and all that. I post all of that stuff. So uh, maybe, let's see. But I'm going to begin with this, and it's going to be basic. VLAN configurations in the switch, and I'll show you how to do it in Packet Tracer. So Cisco Packet Tracer. So you can go to help to understand more which uh, Packet uh, Tracer version you're on. I can see mine right here, 811022, and this is um, the latest one. So this is how you check that, and let's begin. Okay, so in order to fetch the switch, this is where you uh, click. This is where you get the switch from, okay? And uh, once you click on that, you'll get a whole bunch of switches out here, and you're gonna select one of those and drag them out here in this area, right? So let's do it. So first off, I'm going to click on that switch, and then the first one, 2960, I'm going to drag it out here, right? If I just left click on it and go to CLI, this is where I configure because this is a command line interface, right? So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to configure a VLAN. And apart from that, I'm also going to show you how to give it a name, how to assign ports to it. It's going to be super basic in this one. So I'm going to say enable to go to the user privilege mode and then to the configure terminal to go to the global configuration mode. And from there, I'm going to mention, hey, I want to create VLAN 5 and I want to give it a name. What is that? I want to name it finance. OK, good. Good for you. I'm going to say VLAN 10 to create another VLAN. But before doing that, I exited out of the VLAN context, right? And I went back to the global configuration. I said VLAN 10 now. And I say name, what I want to name it as, I want to say accounting. Oh, this is for the accounting department. So I got VLAN 5, VLAN 10. These are the two I have right now. I'm going to exit out of there. And if I want to run any show commands, I won't be able to do it here. So I can do do in order to do that. Now with the do, I, I will be able to run the show commands here. Do show VLAN, for example. If I run that, I find that, hey, there are a couple more VLANs in here, VLAN 5 and VLAN 10, but there are no ports assigned to it. As you can see from here, accounting and finance, these are the two I created, right? So in order to assign ports to it, first of all, these are the uh, this, is, this is the list of ports you have, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and assign um, this port to VLAN 5 and this port to VLAN 10. And that should be it. We'll wrap it up with that. All right. Well, let's hope so. Anyways, so I'm going to say interface fast Ethernet 01. Well, first of all, I'll mention, hey, this port is going to be an access port. And then I'm going to mention, hey, this port should have traffic off VLAN 5 on it. Okay. In simpler terms. So I'm going to say switch port. Uh, w i t. Sorry about that. Switch port. I just messed it up all the time. Switch port mode access, as I mentioned, and then another one. I mentioned which VLAN traffic it is, it is going to hold, or which VLAN traffic is going to go through this port. Switch port uh, mode access. Switch port access, and then mention the VLAN like this. VLAN five. That's it. You're done. I do exit, and then I do the same for interface FA02, I can just press the up key and I can go to that command, change it to 02 right here, right? I changed it to 02, it was 01 before, uh, right here, right? I now go ahead and hit enter and I say the same commands now, switch port mode access, switch port uh, access, VLAN 10 in this case, that's pretty much it. All right, now if I do a sh do show VLAN now, we should be able to see those two ports going that way right here. That's pretty much it. This is how you configure VLANs, name a VLAN and assign ports to it. I can assign multiple ports to these VLANs completely my choice. And also you saw that I mentioned switch port mode access. I could have mentioned switch port mode trunk in order to make it a trunk port again that's a separate thing but i want to keep it short and based on the response i get on this video i'm going to possibly go ahead and make more videos and try to make ccna topics look simple as much as possible in case there's any anything specific you want me to cover please do let me know 
I'll be very happy to do that. And yeah, for those of you who are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. And um, because I, I, I just saw the Google Analytics on my on my channel and it was like 63% or 64% of the audience of my YouTube channel is not subscribed. So that, that's not really helping. <laughs> so thank you. Have a great day. Yeah, goodbye.